Okay, look, there's a pin. There are a whole lot of different pin shapes being used today, twins, singles, quad, even little mini curls, little stabilizers. The funny thing that I realize is that there are a whole lot of different levels of rake and, and the plane shape varies a lot. For surfboards, let's say you take the top 100 surfboard shapers in the world and you get their performance shortboards and put them all next to each other, they're gonna be almost identical. Um, the machines have got something to, you know, they've got a, a part to play in this because it helps to make a more uniform uh, set of curves. But why are things so varied? And so what I'm getting at, or what I think, is that in time we'll get rid of these fins that aren't just like, oh, that's personal taste. They're just not as good. You wouldn't have the rocker in a performance shortboard all of a sudden straightening off and creating a nose bug dive potential or a tail rocker that straightens off. And so that's what's happening with fins. You have these curves that are kind of looking good and then there's this blunt bit or there's a tab at the back and all these different angles. Guess what? In nature, there are certain forms that work amazingly well. And I think the mistake that most designers are making, surfboard designers, is they're thinking about the dorsal fin more than the tail fin. The dorsal fin is only a stabilizer. It doesn't matter much. For a shark, when it's doing this, that's the bit that's doing all the projection. And that's the bit that needs the water on both sides. And you can see that on the shore break if a shark gets trapped in shallow water and there's a whole lot of um, whitewash everywhere, you know, in, at a beach. It's frothing away or flapping away like this and getting no traction and no forward direction whatsoever. So that's where you've got to have flex to stop the cavitation. So I went off on a quick tangent. The main point is that the, the shape of the fin should be about as honed to the right shape as what our plan shape and rocker in the surfboards are. And, it, and to, today it's not the case. Oh, but maybe this is it. That's what I'm getting at. These are the right curves at the back and the right curve at the front. I'll explain what they are another day. But, whoever can guess the rocker of the 610 Sea of Joy to within an eighth of an inch of the nose, let's, let's make it a quarter of an inch in total. You've got to be within a quarter of an inch in total. So you've got to be within an eighth of the nose and an eighth of the tail, or three sixteenths of the nose and, and, a, and a sixteenth of the tail. So just guess, and whoever wins and gets the closest after 24 hours gets a twin fin set or a single fin.